Well, we can speak now to Jack Valero from an organisation called Catholic Voices, an organisation that uh, responds to debate about the Catholic Church. I think that would be the right way to describe it, Mr yes. Valero. Well, what do you think of what the Pope has now said? Well, I don't think it's a, it's a change so much as a clarification. You know, the Pope in the same interview says that condoms are not the answer and stands by the comment he made on the way to Cameroon, you know, as a sort of way to combat the epidemic. The Catholic Church proposes fidelity and abst abstinence and they, they work to reduce the rates and save lives. However, he, he also speaks about sp specific cases and he cites a male prostitute in a, in, a, in a situation where the church wouldn't condone the, the action anyway and says that in that case using a condom may, may imply a moral uh, reasoning to say well there's an other person here and I want to protect that person and that would be a good thing. The protection would be a good thing. So it could be the, the, the moral awakening towards a more human way of sexuality, of living sexuality. Because, you know, the church, the Catholic Church sees sexuality as for marriage, sex for marriage and marriage between a man and a woman to form a family. And so the Catholic Church is not, it's against, you know, things like promiscuity, prostitution, sexual violence, etc. And th those very things that, that, that fuel AIDS. But, but, but saying that the, the use of condoms is not always wrong and pointing to their use in, in cases like we're talking about now, this is a, quite a change in the church's attitude to all this sort of thing, isn't it? Well, you, there isn't actually a written down doctrine on condoms. There, there is a, there is the, there's the doctrine of marriage, which I just said, which is sex is for marriage and the Catholic Church is against uh, promiscuity and against contraception in marriage. And that's why it doesn't distribute condoms, because they, they fuel promiscuity. Um, but it has never said in a particular case it's wrong to use a condom to protect somebody. But, you know, even in, if you look at the case that's, that's talked about in the book, there's a male prostitute, he's doing something that, you know, the, the church doesn't say to a prostitute, don't use a condom. It says, don't be a prostitute. It doesn't say to a man sleeping around, don't, don't, don't use a condom. It says, don't sleep around, you know, save sex for marriage. Now, in the particular case that is the, talk, the Pope talks about in the book, uh, he talks about a male prostitute doing something that's already wrong in the eyes of the church. And he talks of a, a moral awakening by using a condom, which is something that within that action that is bad, you know, there's some moral thing there which is good, which is to protect. And, and in that sense, it's good to save lives. The Hadley Church actually saved many lives already by its at, you know, it is looking after the, the, the people with AIDS and also by preventing AIDS through its programs. I take everything you say, but isn't it also likely to be taken, this, this response that the Pope has given, presumably to a specific question, right. um, that ch changes on the way generally, that this whole sort of moral issue over the years is beginning to alter, that the Catholic Church's position might change. Do you think that's possible? Well. You know, there's been a discussion about the use of condoms as prophylactics rather than contraceptives for a long time among moral theologians, and no conclusion has been reached. And the Pope has just made his statement, not officially through a church document, but through an interview, so in a, a sort of unofficial manner, saying, actually, this is, you know, when, when it, in this case, because it's between two men, particularly in this case that he, he, he gives, it's not, it's not a contraceptive act. And therefore, although the act is bad in itself, not because of the condom, the condom itself is maybe a good thing. And I don't think that this will lead to, I mean, I think the doctrine of the church is fixed, but the way that peop, the church looks after people is refined. And the church looks after people very well in Africa. You know, you've got lots of nuns and priests and so on looking after people. And if they, in a particular case, they think, well, a condom will protect, that might be okay. But they will, all, you know, they, they, they always look after people but, very well. But not a sort of fundamental change no. on the way. Not now, obviously, but on the way. In, in I don't the think that it will be a, a, a way for the church to say, we will distribute condoms or we will think that condoms are okay. You know, it, it, it's a very specific thing that the Pope has said. Jack Valero, very grateful to you. Thank, Thank you very you. much.